Good afternoon, Dr. Hoffman. Thank you for joining us for the January 19th media availability. Would you like to start by addressing the community? Yes, thank you. Uh, it was a uh, news packed weekend. Uh, we heard of two things that will impact the COVID response in Humboldt County this weekend. Uh, first and foremost, uh, over the weekend in San Diego at a mass vaccination event, there were a higher number than expected adverse events. Um, upwards of 10 people had severe allergic reactions at that event. Uh, and due to that, the state has decided to pause a large lot of Moderna vaccine, which was 330,000 doses in the state of California. Locally, we've been impacted by that uh, as we had 4,100 of those doses in our freezers scheduled to go out into arms over the, uh, this week. Uh, as well as next week. Uh, and some have already gone into arms here in Humboldt County. Um, we are trying our best to try to come up with solutions to have this not slow down the effort. We worked uh, with a lot of our partners over the weekend to, to make sure that our, our clinics that were already scheduled could continue to go forward. Um, there were some clinics that had not been scheduled yet that will likely be canceled due to this unless we hear of other news. Um, I think that this affects our uh, 75 and older group the most because they were the next up to start vaccinating this week. Um, we are continuing to work through the remainder of the phase 1A healthcare workers who are out there and we have not had to, to cancel any of those appointments. Um, this also uh, will affect some many second doses of Moderna for people who got their first dose four weeks ago. Um, the other news that we heard over the weekend was about the variant uh, that was found in multiple counties across the state of California. Um, we know very little about this variant. We know that it was involved in one large cluster in uh, emergency room at Kaiser in Santa Clara, California. And we know that one person here in Humboldt County had uh, that sequencing come back in a random uh, sequencing where they were doing surveillance for uh, different types of variants. Um, we know very little other than that. We will continue to try to find out information over the coming days and update the community when we know more on, these, on both of these things. Um, lastly, I want to just make sure that we um, put out some information about the 75 and older group that is going to be impacted the most. We, we want to find out who these are, who these folks are who um, might not be able to get it from their primary care doctor because not, we re recognize that not every primary care doctor in Humboldt County is authorized to give COVID vaccine. So we will be putting out uh, in the coming days, an interest form for anyone who is not being contacted by their uh, primary care provider who's, who is a, a vaccinator um, so that we can gather that information and, uh, and, and get you information how we can get you into a vaccine in the coming weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hoffman. From the North Coast News, with a lot of the Moderna vaccine sitting on the shelf for the time being, what does this mean for people who already got their first dose and are waiting for another dose of the Moderna vaccine? Are you aware of anyone in Humboldt County that will not get their second dose on time? How many? Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, there were many of those that were scheduled for second doses, uh, 1,900 of them uh, of the 4,100 were second doses. So I've asked all of those to be paused for now until we can uh, figure out what to do. Um, we have instructed though not to pause any first doses from uh, other lots that were slated for first doses. Um, so those will continue this week. From the Redwood News, with the county pausing the administration of the single lot of Moderna vaccines, how will the county's vaccination plan be impacted? How is the pause going to impact the start of phase 1B? Will the timeline for vaccinations locally be delayed or shifted back at all? Uh, yeah, yes, there will be delays due to this. It, it is a large majority of the vaccine that was supposed to go out this week. We're 
um, trying to find uh, local and state replacements. Uh, and, um, but it's going to delay specifically the rollout to the 75 year and older um, that was planned to start this week. From the Redwood News, you mentioned that the lot of Moderna vaccines make up as much as 90% of the doses the county has on hand. Exactly how many doses is that? How many of them were first doses, second doses? Is there any plan to receive replacement doses in the meantime? What are the next steps? So, uh, as I mentioned about 4,100 of those uh, of those doses are affected um, by the pause. 1,900 of them were second doses, slated to be second doses, and 2,200 were slated to be first doses. Um, we had been instructed to use as many as 50% of our second doses as first doses. So that, uh, you know, also impacts first doses that we had planned to give out this week. The next steps, uh, again, we're working with our partners uh, to try to see if there is any vaccine that we could use up uh, this week to make sure we don't have to cancel any clinics. Um, we'll, we've asked for help from the state um, but this is affecting a lot, a lot of counties across the state. 300, it's uh, 330,000 doses statewide. Um, so, you know, the next steps are that we're, we're going to, if we get a, either approval to use the vaccine, we will immediately start using it again. Or if we get replacement, we can open up some appointments that we had planned on. Um, we do not plan to cancel any appointments that have already been scheduled for this week, though. From the Redwood News, are you able to give us a number of how many people are impacted by the pause this week? For example, have any vaccination appointments been canceled or postponed this week? Are you planning on needing to cancel or reschedule anything? Yeah, none canceled, uh, probably thousand or more delayed. From the Lost Coast Outpost, have public health officials identified exactly what was in this particular lot that may have triggered the allergic reactions? No, we do not know. From the Lost Coast Outpost, will the pause in administering shots from this lot cause delays for local residents waiting to receive their second doses? If so, will that affect the efficacy of the vaccine? It will absolutely delay um, second doses, and it sh that should not change the efficacy of the vaccine at all. From the Time Standard, has public health effectively halted vaccine administration, or are the 10% of vaccines that are still considered viable being administered? How long would it take to deplete that 10%? So we are using every available dose this week in Humboldt County. Uh, we like, will not have to cancel any clinics, but expansion is greatly reduced. Uh, and I expect that we will have very little uh, on hand at the end of this week. So next week's plans are very much up in the air. From the time standard, when are the next batch of vaccines expected to be received? Um, we're getting new vaccine uh, today. Uh, some of those are Moderna. We don't know what lot they are. They might be the same lot. Um, we're also getting second doses of Pfizer today, which are already slated to go into arms for the match of people who got those three weeks ago. From the Time Standard, did the state or CDC provide a timeline explaining when they should wrap up their investigation of the potentially problematic Moderna batch? Uh, I was just on a call this morning with the state, and we did not hear anything about a timeline for resolution of this. From the North Coast News, is it safe to assume that the outbreak of COVID-19 at the Granada Rehabilitation and Wellness Center is over? Are there active cases of the virus within that center? Um, yes, that case is closed, and we um, are not seeing any new active cases there, thankfully. From the time standard, can you re reiterate how people 75 and older who are interested in receiving the vaccine can get one through their primary care provider or contacting public health? Yeah, so if you have a provider who is one of the approved COVID vaccine uh, vaccinators, you will be contacted by them uh, on how you can schedule an appointment. Um, a lot of these, uh, there is still very limited number. So a lot of these providers who are working through their list are are trying to start with those at highest risk, like the oldest population or people who with high risk conditions who are over 75. So 
they they are actively working on that, but there's a small number of vaccine and a small number of appointments. So obviously everyone in those practices will not be able to get immediate appointments. So they wait for outreach from them if your doctor is an approved vaccine provider. Uh, as I mentioned in the upfront, uh, public health, we're working on a way to gather information on those who do not have a provider who uh, is a approved vaccinator. Uh, we, we recognize there are many uh, smaller practices. There are people who don't have insurance or maybe they have a, a doctor outside of Humboldt County. Um, so that interest form is gonna go live in the coming days and we will put out media um, once that that is up and running. So those are the two primary ways that you're gonna be able to get into an appointment if you're over 75. From the Time Standard, how is the virus spreading in the community right now from public health's perspective? Is the situation worsening, improving, or stable? Uh, so it continues to spread in the same way we've seen, uh, spreading through close contacts, through gatherings, and travel. From the North Coast News, the CDPH is saying that a new variant of COVID-19 has been identified in Humboldt County. How serious of a development is this for the community, and how long has Humboldt Public Health known about its pre prevalence here? Is the county aware of other potentially more contagious variants in the county currently? So we were alerted to this yesterday. Um, we do not know the significance of this variant, uh, and we do not know of any other highly contagious variants uh, that have been found in Humboldt County. From the Two Rivers Tribune, with Humboldt County at the highest level of the blueprint for a safer economy table, what more can be done to protect communities from the 452R variant strain as it is believed to be a super spreader? So I, I think it's a little early to make assumptions about the variant and what it means. Uh, we will, you know, when, when evidence is there, if this is a more highly contagious variant, we will have to have the discussion about what kinds of efforts need to be in place to slow the spread of this. But uh, I, I will also add, you know, nothing changes about the things that we have been asking. We, you know, continue to, even with these highly contagious variants, like the one from the UK, um, things like masking, distancing, avoiding gatherings, um, those are the things that will continue to slow the spread of that uh, virus as well as um, the, the other variants that we've seen um, throughout this pandemic. From reporter Daniel Mintz, the CDC has announced a finding that the B117 or UK variant is growing exponentially and could be the predominant strain in the US by March. What are the implications of this for coronavirus spread and vaccine effectiveness and what kind of local planning is underway for response? So we don't know of any impact on vaccine efficacy. We uh, have not heard that there is an effect on the efficacy of the vaccine. So we continue to plan vaccination events uh, with that uh, in mind. Um, and other than that, you know, nothing else changes about the measures we take to slow the spread of this variant. From reporter Daniel Mintz, the CDPH has announced that the L452R variant, which has caused several large outbreaks in Santa Clara County, is becoming more prevalent and has been identified in Humboldt. At a January 17th CDPH press briefing, the virolo virologist who conducted genome sequencing on the strain expressed concerns about its potential for increased transmissibility and vaccine resistance. What kind of information has co county public health been given on this variant? Um, we know mostly what is out in the media. We were alerted to it yesterday. Um, I only know of one outbreak in Santa Clara at the Kaiser ER um, from the, um, the Christmas costume event. Otherwise, we have not heard of any other outbreaks with this um, and info is coming out on it, uh, hopefully more today and we'll continue to let people know whatever we know. From reporter Daniel Mintz, how long did it take between the time Humboldt's L452R samples were submitted for genome sequencing and the results? Is there any indication of the degree to which L452R is present in the county? Um, so 
these were from samples that were being part of, were part of a surveillance project. So we were not specifically asking for for this variant. Um, you know, the state virologists were searching to see how far back the variant uh, went. Uh, it's my understanding they found these in samples as far back as September throughout the state, um, and uh, the the one found in Humboldt County was from November, and it was only one single. Uh, sample that has been found so far. Others, many other samples have been looked at. Um, and if we find out that there are more of them, we'll let you know. Um, we have submitted samples recently to the state to look for other variants. Um, and I assume they will also be looking for this variant. So we'll, when we hear back from uh, the state on, on those samples, we'll update. From the redheaded black belt. In regard to the variant from the UK, can you explain the reasons for it being more highly transmissible and exactly why it is capable of passing from person to person more easily? I think that is still very much under study. Um, and even the amount of transmissibility uh, is, is still being debated. Uh, I think what we can say is it is more contagious than other variants, but not uh, sure yet exactly how much more or how that happens. From the redheaded black belt, what do you know about the COVID-19 variant that has been detected in Humboldt County as far as symptomology as well as transmissibility? How does this compare to or differ from the COVID-19 that we have been experiencing so far? Um, so the new variant, uh, we know very little about. Um, I think from just knowing about the other variants, uh, symptomatology should be the same. Um, the UK variant doesn't show any worse uh, outcomes. It's just more transmissible. And so I would expect that potentially if this variant is found to be anything, it might be more transmissible than others, but we don't suspect that it's causing any worse uh, disease. From the time standard, can you provide some statistics about the L452R variant in Humboldt County? Number of local cases found, the percentage found in local cases, is it linked to any local deaths? Um, so one case uh, and um, no, there was no death involved in that case. From the time standard, can you talk about how the L452R variant might impact vaccine efficacy and whether the vaccine protects against the variant? We have no evidence at this time that any variants uh, are affecting vaccine efficacy. Thank you, Dr. Hoffman. Thank you.